Open letter to agents of the crown. We the people in America are getting mighty educated these days. We track down the original 13th Amendment to the Constitution for the United States of America you know, the one you started the War of 1812 over so you could burn the copies, and it says you esquires are not allowed to have a title of nobility and hold public office in America. Up until now because of ignorance imposed upon us, you have been getting away with it. Outside of your public, fool, schools we have learned that the bar originates in the Crown Temple in London, England. Therefore, your oath to the bar means you are not Americans anymore but agents for a foreign power. You have no citizenship. You claim to have licenses to practice law. As a matter of fact there is no such thing as a license to practice law. We searched in the statutes, codes, rules and regulations for every state and also their respective secretaries of state and supreme courts. No authorization for the license to practice law exists anywhere. That means every one of you is unauthorized and illegal in the Republic. John Henry D.O.E., Esquire is a fiction that exists only on paper. Hey, a bar card dependent on dues paid in full in your exclusive membership organization is not a license. What you do have is a bar card that simply authorizes you to use the statutes, codes, rules and regulations, which are all copyrighted. We can't help but notice that all of the law you use is copyrighted, so the people can't use it without using you. People, how well are you doing with these laws? It wasn't easy since you have us hanging upside down looking in the mirror trying to read the newspaper, but we figured out that statutes, codes, rules and regulations are not law but abrogation of the law. Abrogate means to abolish by authoritative action, see, annul. Applying the force of deadly violence, you annulled the real law and replaced it with color of law. Color of law is a false flag, a pirate flag. You're all a bunch of actors. No license and no law, either. And you know that that card will not get you very far anymore as your privileges are waning. We attempted a count of the number of statutes, codes, rules and regulations that you created, with the intelligence endowed by your creator, to use against us. We're not finished yet as there are many more than 60 million statutes, codes, rules and regulations certainly more than all of you bar attorneys put together can keep track even with plenty of software, quarterly updates, and teams of legal researchers, but hey, you have, hourly, billing. Open letter to agents of the Crown page 1 of 7. You willingly write statutes, codes, rules and regulations at the behest of the putrefying and corrupt chosen masters, an ancient hate-driven cult within a hate-driven racist sect that are the same old tiresome take over the world crowd and utilizing a blueprint of criminality. The lowly beasts of this world have more honor than you. Reptiles are exalted by your presence. You willingly herd the people you have defrauded into your, the, system of the matrix like so many cattle, to be processed, robbed of their freedom, families and property, experimented upon with drug sorcery, and all too often killed. You do this because the, your, bar association is a hate-driven money cult. Your masters reward you by allowing you to charge obscene hourly rates for the building of your personal empires. You are so far gone from the side of God that you think you have the authority to write rules to justify torturing your fellow beings. Collectively and individually you have much blood on your hands, very unclean hands. You know what that means. And your noble cause is what? Why, the USA, in total, bankruptcy is your noble cause, your reason for destroying millions of lives minute by minute. The USA's bankruptcy is George W. Bush's noble cause, his order of skull and bones organization's only cause for being is the weakening and ultimate destruction of the United States of America by any means necessary. Claiming the authority to enact and enforce new bankruptcy laws, statutes, that create debtors' prisons for the people, who since 1933 have had no money to pay a debt with, the U.S. corporation is itself bankrupt and has made us into the surety for the debt. No more of this crap. In fact all so-called governing bodies in the U.S. are bankrupt corporations telescoping from one to the other, back and forth between federal state county municipal, due to the federal project of credit, like the giant, and pathetical, tentacle beast that it is. The Supreme Court of the United States of America is a bankrupt corporation, and does not exist. 
Your law firm is bankrupt. There is no money. We have no legitimate law because we have no legitimate money. Whether or not you bar attorneys swore a secret oath to administer the U.S. Bankruptcy, the bankruptcy is in each and every letter you send, every form you submit, every court pleading you file, every plea bargain you negotiate. It is a fact of life of your every professional thought, besides billing, law has nothing to do with it. At this point you attorneys have made your true function patently obvious. Attorney means to take all of the property of the people and give it to the chosen masters. Well, your master's day is over. Oh, it may seem that they are consolidating their control of all the earth, therefore assure in your positions as. Open letter two agents of the crown page two of seven. They're agents for profit and mayhem, but always profit, but we continue to expose the chosen masters in this forum and many others, and we are getting quite ready to jam their signals, crash their programs and round them up. Guess where we are going to put the chosen masters? And do you really think that they are going to grant you some favors? Is your ego so corrupt that you really think that you are better than everyone else? When they choose to bring down the hammer what makes you think that you'll be immune? You are being destroyed by leaks from within. From the 13 European families of banking perversion to the every town, USA municipal traffic court judge, who would not be caught dead retiring with less than $30 million of the people's money, and all the Satanist racketeering extortionist blackmailing pedophile warmongering purveyors of human flesh in between, the chosen masters are finished. Hey, is this getting through to you yet? Some of you attorneys may be hearing the not-so-distant jungle drums and growing uneasy, but most of you are 100% in your ego at all times and evidently proud of being arrogant. Your arrogance may interfere with your comprehension of this message, but check it out, because now it is your turn to understand something the jig is up babe. The truth herein is ugly, but we believe Americans are very angry about the truth as exposed to date, and that they are ready to hear more. Upon being more fully informed many will even act on it according to their conscience. You have not succeeded in confiscating all of the guns. Edition note, I'd prefer a bullet to bare hands. Just when we thought your deeds could not possibly get more hideous, we discovered that you create commercial paper for each inmate in prison and put a price on him or her and hypothecate that price many times. Correctional Corporation of America, CCA, Nashville, Tennessee, and others create the bonds and Lehman Brothers underwrites those bonds and those bonds are being bought and sold on the world financial markets every day. The chosen masters cut you in on the deals and you all take profits from this Remember those who choose to partake in the benefits also get to enjoy the liabilities. Further we are enraged to know that US corporations are being funded by our brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, who were busted for pot or for not having a current driver's license. And these prison work farms are producing low-cost to produce products that go on to eliminate jobs and revenue in our communities. You bar attorneys created crimes out of nothing and wrote the Rules for this heinous and sickening theft of the people's energy, all for administering to the U.S. bankruptcy, and your own assumpsit, unjust enrichment, and quantum merit. We the people, the ones in whom the power is truly vested, are putting an end to your despicable trafficking in human flesh and spirit. Open letter to agents of the Crown page 3 of 7. We used to have common law courts in this country. You may have not been taught this in your mystery schools, however, in common law, unless a living man or woman has been injured or a property loss has occurred there has been no crime. We also found out that you bar attorneys raised the level of the sea, water, on paper so that it covers the land, thereby fraudulently subjecting us to admiralty slash maritime law, to the law of the sea, read, piracy. A so-called police officer, read, cop, pulling us over is an act of piracy. It is a kidnapping, plain and simple. That gold-fringed flag that's a pirate flag he's flying, so cops reading this take heed, for the chosen masters put you where the rubber meets the road. You are nothing more than a base-level revenue-generating agent for them, and if they lose a few of you to some really bad guy, well too bad, a bunch of your buddies will gather around and collectively give thanks that it wasn't them who bought the bullet. Hey guys, get this through your heads now.
Codes do not apply to the people, only to the corporation for which they were written, and that means you, and it means you are nothing more than corporate thugs. Don't want to believe it, just talk with some of the real old guys. Some of you became cops in order to get respect, respect is to be earned we have been giving you not respect but fear, and people can overcome their fears. We have a God-given right to defend ourselves and our property. Just keep it up and, just like what you've been doing to us survivors will become defendants. The chosen masters have decreed that there are too many of us, Prince Philip and Henry Kissinger refer to us as useless eaters, so you bar attorneys make it legal on paper for vile toadies of the chosen masters to poison us and the entire earth through the food, aspartame, genetically modified, irradiated, etc., air, chemtrails, pollution, etc., water, fluoride, etc., and land, eroding topsoil, demineralized soil, etc., and when we sicken, you force, known to be dangerous vaccinations and drugs upon us, and when we die, our former employers receive death benefits dollar 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 on secret, illegal life insurance policies taken out on us, unjustly enriching a variety of corporations so that the chosen masters may take profits. You and the cops will answer to the people in the lawful courts we establish, and for now you must answer to your families, friends, neighbors, all whom you betrayed, sold out and just plain sold. Just. About everyone except Freemasons of course have been to a traffic court. What did you think was going to happen? Your La Dita days are numbered. You infernal bar attorneys are the original backdoor men, the nefarious ones in the back room, failing to adjust the accounts. You never pay your bills. Once you take a case you are the holder of the account for the case. This means, under public law 73 to 10 wherein all crimes are commercial crimes, and under public policy, that you must adjust the account to offset the liability for closure and settlement. You always fail to make the ledger entry there is no money. Open letter to agents of the Crown page 4 of 7. And the people are exempt from levy so you attorneys never pay your bills. You impose the charges upon us and put us in prison instead. You get paid whether you win your case or not, and the corrupt judicial system enforces the payment of your fees. This is conclusive proof of the criminality inherent in the US judicial system. What else is a criminal but someone in possession of a valuable commodity human energy that was acquired without exchanging something else of value for it? Well, it is painfully obvious to the people that those are not our courts, and we will never get justice in them. We are going to do away with them and you. Don't look now, but people in positions of authority are going to seize the reins. Even now we are turning the tide for a permanent return to a constitutional form of government. The people will no longer tolerate the lies, the corruption, and death that are your daily bread. You bar attorneys are all drunkards drunk on debt, chasing Federal Reserve notes, FRNs, which are nothing, nothing more than debt notes and debt, read, death. You have made it illegal for the people to get out of debt. You put every man, woman and child under the probate statutes, and made us into corporate fictions so you could create life-destroying industries such as taxation and the judicial system. You attorneys are harming life on the entire planet and you cannot make it clearer that you are anti-life. Through trickery and the deceitful use of language, you would reduce our lives to nothing more than a series of commercial transactions. We who now must pursue such life-diminishing goals as getting out of debt, or making the rent, or paying the bills we demand that the bar stand down, and stand aside, now, and make way for the true law. For starters, the people are exempt from levy. In common. Law there is only two laws, do not harm another living being, and honor all of. Your contracts which easily condenses down to only one law, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Speaking of personal debt, we learned from our research that the people, the living men and women of this land, and all the lands, are the source of all pretend money, i.e., credit, i.e., commercial credit. So-called credit does not exist until we create it. We living beings of light are the source of all the energy that is expressed as credit. Thus, the people can never be debtors, and you attorneys have slandered our names in your collection letters. 
we will make claims against you for the slander of your deceit, so Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, take note. Your bar attorneys will not be able to save you. Experian, TransUnion and Equifax are bankrupt corporations. Yes, people in this The Bizarre Matrix world the credit reporting agencies are insolvent. Open Letter 2 Agents of the Crown Page 5 of 7 We recently heard that the authorities will start to confiscate our gold fillings and gold teeth. This is for paying interest on the U.S. bankruptcy, folks. Attention Municipal, County, State, and Federal, United Nations, UN, Chosen Masters slash Powers in Charge, we will not tolerate it. We denounce your obscenely unjust and unlawful codes and refuse to obey them. We hereby declare your illegal statutes, codes, rules and regulations to be null and void and of no further effect. You can take my so-called driver's license and shove it. You are parasites. You create no value. You bring nothing to the table. All of the invisible so-called contracts by which you think you have us in a chokehold are null and void for lack of consideration, lack of full disclosure, for threats, duress and coercion in the formation of the contracts, and for being unconscionable. You ain't got nothing. We the people demand forgiveness of all the debt. We demand the restoration of money of substance, backed by gold and silver. We demand our money back for all the illegal income tax on our labor that you converted, stole, and gave to a foreign corporation, i.e., the Federal Reserve's Collection Agency Internal Revenue Service also a bankrupt corporation. We demand the return of all the money you defrauded us out of for your cash cow socialistic social security Ponzi scheme. We demand our money back for all of those bullcrap illegal parking tickets and illegal court cases. Inasmuch as those funds are collected by corporate thugs and therefore illegal, the funds cannot be added to municipal budget so therefore the people's property goes straight into the judge's retirement fund. We demand that you make reparations to us for having defrauded and enslaved us. We demand the immediate stand-down of the Internal Revenue Service IRS. Further, once Internal Revenue Service has returned to us every penny plus interest, we demand the permanent abolishment of Internal Revenue Service. Then we shall sue our corporate employers for theft, Form W-4 and wage levies. Through our studies we have learned that our real government is in the county. In the Republic, where all of our rights are intact, our highest elected official is the county sheriff. We will restore lawful government first at home, in our counties. Generals and provost marshals, duty calls like never before, and we are taking names. Do your duty and put the county sheriffs under arrest, or we will. We will open the prison doors and send home everyone busted for pot, and every other innocent victim of your unlawful codes. They will go home with all of their property restored to them plus reparations, and public apologies. A goodly portion of those reparations will come from your pocket, Mr. Bar Attorney. We Open Letter 2 Agents of the Crown Page 6 of 7 We'll return back to the prisons all of the real criminals routinely set loose into our communities by the pedophilic treasonous authorities, and, by the way, many, many of you Bar Attorneys will join them for your crimes. Judges merit a special note. Municipal Traffic Court Bankruptcy court, probate court, federal court, makes no difference, you are the most venal and rapacious type of creature imaginable. We have awakened to the real state of affairs, that we live in the bizarre world of your make-believe. Thus it should come as no surprise that the man in the black robe slash dress, supposedly learned in the law, is in reality an extortionist, a career criminal, the most unlawful creature on earth. The judge's bench, bank, is a movable feast, his black robes highly appropriate for a bird of carrion. You are all in breach of the covenant, in breach of the trust, in breach of the contract. In your souls and in commerce, you are in dishonor. Your rights are forfeit and your property is forfeit trust or no trust. We the people who are beings of light, children of our heavenly creator, who is not bankrupt, are taking back our responsibilities and taking over. We are creating a world without man-made parasites. Even as you read this we are phasing you out. You cannot turn back this tide. Members of the bar, here are your choices, 
A. Come into the light, or B. Go into the light. You very dark ones face uncreation, or the hell planet you will not be missed, either as a target, or as a thought. By, we who oppose deception. And we do reserve all rights at all times, and in all places. P.S. For the people, did you know that the bar attorneys passed a very sneaky law in 1980 that says they represent both sides in a case? But it is a felony for an attorney to take money from someone he she does not represent. So if an attorney bothers you, tell him he she is fired. Without recourse, without prejudice. Enjoy. The end is near.